Good morning. Hope everybody's fine. Um, excuse my voice. I've got a really, really sexy cold, so uh, just put up with me. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to make this Mad Hatter cake topper um, look even more spectacular. So I want it to be um, pearled with some sort of gold, but I don't want it to be too strong. So I'm going to show you a little technique. So we've made the, the hat. Um, you can see this. Um, on our YouTube or on our quick vids or email me and I'll send you the post or whatever okay so we'll, we'll figure that out so what I've done is we've got some lace of your choice it doesn't have to be um, I'm not looking for expensive lace just something with a nice bold pattern because it's the it's the um, bits that aren't exposed that will be the pattern if that makes sense um, this sort of brush which is a makeup brush um, don't tell my daughter that I've stolen that um, it's a flat brush because we've got to use it as a stencil brush rather than a paintbrush and then we've got I'm using pearly gold by color splash love a color splash whether it's paints or powder um, so that's what I'm using got a nice sheen to it so all I've done is to you can see the if you can see the first layer I've sort of done that just to just to check it works um because as you know this is a working cake <laughs> cafe um and design studio so everything that i make is actually for a cake it's not i'm not making it for dummies i'm making it for to be used so it has to be right okay um blow some of that off um so all i've done is is pinned measured the the lace and then pinned it around the first time and done the first loop just to check that it works and what i've then i've done just moved it up to the next level give it a pin um, quite tight but not overly tight because we're not looking to strangle the thing and then I've put a little bit of this um, lovely pearly gold by Colour Splash on my table I don't, I'm going to move that down so you can just see that there okay because I don't want um, big blobs of powder um, I'm just looking for little bits so I'm, I'm what literally what I'm doing is dabbing it into the the powder and dabbing it onto the table so like that and then it's almost like if you're doing a makeup and you put in brush powder on your face you wouldn't want the whole big blotches of it so so then we're gonna very carefully dab rather than swipe all the way around um, I'm not looking for bold bold as I said I'm just looking for a sheen with a pattern this is a Mad Hatter top hat um, and from my research uh, the new version oh gosh somebody's gonna pick me up on this aren't they um, Johnny Depp I believe is that the new version I'm sure there's another new version anyway but this is the reference I'm using um, he had a fabulous top hat with um, lots of wonderful things on it and it had a lovely bit of a sheen and the way that I thought might work was just like this so I'm gonna go around it as you can see I'm not being too precious about it because it, I just want the sheen and a little bit of pattern so I'm going to go around this fairly quickly and then I'll move it up and then we'll do the next layer and this you could do on any this can be you can use this on a, a cake straight away you don't need to um, just use it on this hat obviously it this technique is something that you can use on any cake with any lace what I would recommend though, um, if you're anything like me, always roll a piece of extra fondant out or whatever you're covering your, your cake with. Um, gum paste this is obviously because I want it to be very solid because it's going to be a cake topper with um, a teapot sticking on the end, sticking on the top. So fingers crossed that works. Uh, but you can use it on anything really. I suspect you could even use it on chocolate if you uh, as you know we cover all our cakes in chocolate ganache I always feel like I'm doing an advert when I do this in chocolate ganache before we decorate them um, and sometimes I just like to see the chocolate if anybody's brave enough just to do that okay give that a blow <coughs> right let's see just gently take the, the pins out and remove it there you go can you see that got a nice sheen to that so what I'm going to do again is find the back always the back move this up now this time because I want a, a nice line here I'm going to put the top straight line there that's just going to make it easier for me to basically stop so pinning it in and 
this top hat is made out of Rice Krispies. How can I lose a pin when I've literally just put it down there? Okay. Does anybody else like me? No? Anyway. So this top hat is made out of Rice Krispies. You can see the quick vid on our Instagram. Um, how to carve it, how to cover it with... Um, Um, gum paste, sorry, chocolate, and um, there you go, and gum paste. Now, as you probably gathered, it's thinner there than it is at the top. So I, when I did the, when I measured it here, I just overlapped it a little bit at the bottom so that I could just have enough at the top. So that worked well. So let's do that again. So right to the top. And like I said in all my videos, this is a working video, so this is where I get, um, this is why I'm always covered in something. I'm either, if I'm doing roses, I'm always covered in um, gum paste or something. I, I do not believe that <laughs> in the real world, um, people work so cleanly. Um, if they do, I really apologise. It's just that when you're working and you're not doing something just for YouTube or um, Instagram or anything like that, then... Um, if it's a real world place, you've got to get a little bit dirty, surely. Um, let's, okay, put this and let me just tell you what sort of time it is now. I'm just putting a little bit more there on there. Remember, I'm dabbing it in and into the powder, and then I'm dabbing it on the table so we're not getting big bunches of it. If anybody's just popped in now, halfway through the video, oh. yeah, if anybody's interested, it's actually 5 30 in the morning here, um, in County Durham, UK. Um, in a little town called Stanhope, which is um, in Weedale, beautiful part of the, the world. My journey to work is nine minutes if I get behind a tractor, so that's tough. Do you like the new face furniture? I forgot to tell you, this is part of the equipment, okay? Because if, if I'm doing any clothes at work, then we need to have, well, I need to have some face furniture. The people who are on my team, who I work with... Um, the lovely Miss S and the lovely Rose, um, they're always finding my glasses around. I need a little bit more. Isn't that cool? Oh, tap, tap. Okay. So, again, colour splash. Love it. Dab it in, dab it on the table just to get the excess off. We don't want big clumps. Almost there, guys. Is this a bit like watching paint dry? Please comment please subscribe please comment if you've got any questions obviously that's the way to go just email me check out our blog by the way sweet life that's just me and my ramblings so anybody else who um it cannot be just me i always <laughs> i talk to my cakes sorry guys a little bit crazy but I always think it's because I spend too much time by myself. <coughs> Excuse me, the cough. A bit more. I'm trying not to put too much out here because I know I'm going to be wasting some at the end. And like I say, if, you, if you're doing this for real life, we're all about pennies and, and things like that. You know, small businesses. That's another video. Okay. Um, so I don't want to waste any by putting too much out. But inevitably I always do. Okay, almost there. And that little bit there, which I didn't pin properly. So note to self, if you're going to do a demonstration, do it properly. All right, let's take these pins out. Now, you can see we've got some holes in the back. Okay. Oh, I like that. Give it a blow. There you go. Can you see that? Can you see that sheen? And that little bit of a pattern there, that's going to make the hat not just a hat with a teapot on the top. It's going to make it pop a lot. And what I'm going to do is put a band. So actually, I'm not going to probably see this bit here, but, you know, it's always nice to do it as a tester. The bit you're not going to see. So I'm going to put a, a like a band of gum paste to look like a ribbon there. And I've got lots and lots of other things to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off. If you've got any questions, I hope you weren't too bored. Thank you very much. Mwah!